Today, John Ford brings us up close with a CEO whose company uses software to help customers identify and close those gaps. John. Yeah, Tyler. Maria Colacurcio is CEO of Cyndia, a platform to help companies analyze whether they're offering employees fair pay and opportunity and minimize legal risk. Colacurcio has experience with how workplace hiring habits can limit opportunity for some workers. Even though she was part of the founding team of Smartsheet, now a multi-billion dollar public company, she said she had trouble re-entering the workforce after having kids. But she didn't take no for an answer. That determination was something she learned growing up in a large Italian-American family. I hustle and I, I owe that mostly to my older sister. She's 18 months older and I gotta tell you, it was, it was so frustrating to be in her shadow because she was good at everything. You know, she'd decide to play golf and she'd go to state and golf. She, you know, was always on varsity in the basketball team and I was on the freshman team just dying to catch up with her. And my dad at one point, you know, I asked him to hook up a floodlight over our, our hoop in the front driveway so that I could practice, you know, well into the night. and. She didn't need to practice. She just sort of, everything she touched was gold. In this downturn, Marie is hustling to expand Cyndio's product offerings and show how data can help companies protect the progress they made in their workforces, even as they tighten their belts. That means offering customers insight into the health of their talent pipelines and their readiness for new compliance rules. A year ago, we were a point solution just focused on pay equity, but we've recently expanded that platform to address opportunity equity. So we have a really great chance to go back to our 260 customers and with a lower acquisition cost, expand to get them embracing the full platform. That said, though, John, for us, we have so much momentum right now with pay transparency legislation and in particular the EU directives because we serve global companies. We're seeing a ton of demand on the new side for pay equity, particularly because there is so much compliance regulation and push toward these transparency efforts. I talked to a lot of CEOs who have different feelings and approaches to diversity and workforce development. Not all the same, but the best ones seem to have a workforce philosophy they can articulate and data they can present that shows whether they're getting closer to whatever goals they've set. Cindio trying to arm them with more of that data. This is a hard area because while jobs can be the same, or you can have the same job description, for people are all different. They have different backgrounds, they have different skills, they have different levels of experience. And that's what, one of the reasons to me why the pay equity uh, question is so difficult to solve. Yes, and in different uh, industries, in different job categories, there are ways of very thinly slicing engineer one, engineer two, three, four, five, et cetera. But within those categories that companies have set, a question is, do you have equality of pay across the different employee types? And if not, can you justify it? Can you explain it? If you can't, then best fix that before the lawyers come asking. Is there a risk that uh, software or services like hers are themselves getting cut if companies start to tighten the belt here? There would be that risk, but then on the other side, there are the new compliance rules in the EU in certain states around pay transparency and then pay equity also, where if you cut that, it could come back to bite you. So how are companies... Um how do companies use the data that they get? What do they do with it then? Well, part of what Maria was talking about in opportunity equity is another area. It's not just about are you paying people the same in the same role. It's are you getting your pipeline? Is, is the next layer of management that's ready to take over, does that look equitable, mm -hmm. right? And so companies are using this to kind of sift through and not only find potential problems that could land them in legal hot water, but also look at just are they actually performing up to the goals that they've set, the promises that they've made to their workforces and to their boards. And they just pay her a fee for their, their company, a fee for that? or Yeah, I mean, it's, it's software that they use to keep analyzing that data and that they pay for over time. Am I correct in reading that she herself has seven kids while doing all of this? She does. Wow. You should see the Christmas card. <laughs> oh, my God. She Very has cool. a, a household that is an experiment in equity. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right.